Hello friends, welcome to my kitchen. Today I am making very famous mixed dry fruit chikki. So first I am taking one bowl of sugar. And in this sugar I am going to add one tablespoon of water. Just one tablespoon of water, you don't need to add too much water. And now, just stir it. Make sure to keep the temperature on low. So just keep stirring like this. If you do not have powdered sugar, you can also use uh, crystallized sugar. Just make sure to keep stirring continuously. Stir until the sugar melt. If you want, you can also use misri. That will also give you very nice taste. This is very quick and easy way to make this dry fruit chicken. While you are stirring, if you feel like it's sticking too much, you can always add like one or two teaspoon of more water. But I'm using non-stick pan, so I'm not using any more water. And make sure to stir continuous and keep on low flame, so the sugar will not get burned. As you can see, it started to melt. So once you start to melt, make sure you just scrape the bottom. Otherwise the sugar will stuck on the bottom and you will have the burn effect. So now I am keeping on very low flame. And just keep stirring until all the sugar will nicely melt. So as you can see everything is melt very nice. So now I am just going to cook for half a minute. Now in this one I am going to add one cup of mixed dry fruit. This is uh, almond, pistachio and cashew. So I'm just going to add dry fruit. Then I'm adding one teaspoon of cardamom powder and one four teaspoon of saffron strands and mix everything together. Now I'm going to switch up my flame. And I'm going to keep mixing until all the dry fruit will coat with sugar syrup. Now I'm going to take this mixture into the grease plate. So here I have my plate is nicely greased. So I'm just going to add this mixture into the plate. And now spread it very quickly. And then I'm going to label this with the back of my uh, ball. I'm already greasing it. So just grease the ball and just label with it. Here you have to work very fast otherwise it will melt and you will not be able to spread uh, very good. Now make some pieces while it's still hot. Just keep give the impression like this. Make sure to grease the plate first otherwise it will get stuck on the bottom and it will be hard for you to remove it. If it's like that, if, if it's stuck on the bottom, <clears throat> I would recommend if you forgot to grease the plate and it's stuck on the bottom, I would recommend once it's cooled down, just keep the plate on the flame for half a minute. It will come out easily. So here my chicki is ready. I am going to let it cool down completely. At least for half an hour to an hour. So here my dry fruit chicki is ready. So as you can see it is nice and crisp. And if you break it as you will see it is very easily breakable. And you see it is very crispy from inside. So I'm sure you'll like this recipe. I'll see you with the next episode of Rinku's Rasoi. Till then, happy cooking.